Okay, so first of all, I am going to do equals count if, and the range will be all of the dates and times from version two. And then I'll press F4 to put the dollar signs around that cell reference to make it an absolute cell reference so it doesn't change when I send the formula down. Then the criteria will be this cell here and close brackets and enter. So what this formula is doing is counting how many times this date and time here appears in this column here. And it doesn't appear there at all, so we get zero. Then I'll double click to send this formula down. And now it's counting how many times this value here appears in this column. And it appears there once, so now we get the number one. And that means in this column, whenever we get a zero, that is a date and time which is in version one, but is not in version two. So I am going to call this column removed. Then we can do this the opposite way round. So equals count if, and this time the range is going to be all of the dates and times from version one and press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. And then the criteria will be this cell here and close brackets and enter. And then we'll double click to send that formula down. And now this formula is counting how many times this value here appears in this column. And it appears there once, so we get the number one. But if I were to delete this, then it doesn't appear there at all, so we get zero instead. I'm just going to undo that. That means any time there is a zero in this column, that is a value that is in version two, but is not in version one. So I am going to call this added. Now we can count how many values have been removed. So I'll do equals count if, and we will count the number of values in this range that are zero and close brackets and enter. And so we have 29 values that are in version one, but have been removed in version two. And then I will do equals count if again, and we will count how many values in this range are equal to zero. And now we have 50 values that are not in version one, but have been added in version two. And if we go down to the bottom of this table, we can see the difference in the number of rows between these two tables. And so there are 21 rows here. And that agrees with the numbers that we have at the top. Now I'm going to add in filter buttons to this table and we will filter for just the zeros and OK. And then I will copy all of these values and paste them into a new sheet. And now we have all of the dates and times that have been removed. Then I will clear the filter from this table and get rid of the filter buttons and then add them to this table. And we will again filter for just the zeros and OK. And then I will copy all of these and paste them here. And now we have all of the dates and times that have been added. Now I'll clear the filter from here again and remove the filter buttons. And there's another way that we can look at this. I'm going to copy all of the dates and times from version one, and I will paste them in here. And then I'll copy all of the dates and times from version two, and I will paste them underneath. Then I'll go to data, and remove all of the duplicates. And OK, and OK again. 
And that removes all of the duplicate values, so all of the dates and times that are in both version 1 and version 2. Then we'll sort this from A to Z, which is also sorting from oldest to newest, so that will put it in the correct order. Then I will copy the headings from here, and we will use a V lookup formula in order to line up these values. So I'll do equals V lookup, and the lookup value will be this value here. And then the table array will be the version 1 table. I'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. The column index number will be 1, as I want it to show me the results from the first column in this table. And then the range lookup will be false for an exact match and close brackets and enter. It doesn't have the correct number formatting, so I will copy the formatting into this column, and then we'll double click to send this formula down. Then we can do the same thing for version 2, so we will have another VLOOKUP formula. This will be the lookup value. This time the table array will be the version 2 table. And I will press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. Then the column index number will be 1. And the range lookup will be false for an exact match. And close brackets and enter. And double click to send that down. Again, we need to copy the date and time formatting. And now what these formulas are doing is, if it can find the date and time, then we just get that same date and time repeated. But if it can't find it, then we get an error value. So what I'm going to do now is select these two columns, and then I'm going to add in some conditional formatting. And we'll have a new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format. And this is going to be equals is error, open and close brackets. Then inside these brackets, we need to put in the cell reference for the active cell. So in my case, that is J4. So I'll just type that in. And then we will format this. And I will make the fill red and OK. And OK again. And now all of the error values will be bright red. So if I scroll down, this will make the missing values much easier to see. And we can see some here, for example. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to compare two lists to search for missing values. And that is everything.